Hey folks, this is the command line Volpine here. And today I wanted to show what 20 hours in the game Sapiens looks like. So if you recall in our last episode of our Let's Play playthrough, we had basically done everything that we could and uh, there wasn't much more point in playing. However, I did kind of want to keep playing the game. And this isn't the same save as the game I, the YouTube save. I wanted to save that for you guys, but I actually, it probably won't be able to work anyway because it seems like this game, every time it updates, it's not necessarily working. So what I did instead was I played off camera on a different game. So this is my long road that I've built out to the beach here. I tried to build a, a road out in each cardinal direction from our town up here, which we will explore shortly. Just so that uh, people have a quick way to get into really far directions because it's really hard to find clay. That's been one of the big problems I've run into. We'll kind of talk about like problems with like the late game uh, once we're done doing this tour here. This is a small stockpile just to gather things that are really far away. Like I wanted to go get willow wood, but those were the nearest willow trees way down there. And uh, you couldn't just send people there to gather it. They won't do it because it's too far away. You have to make a stockpile and like run it from one stockpile to another. It's kind of a pain. But uh, we'll just keep heading down the path. Mostly rocks. It's made from rocks when uh, rocks are nearby. And then some sections are made of dirt because it only takes one piece of dirt to uh, make a path, but it takes two stones. So they can just take a dirt from the stockpile and uh, bring it up into town. Chickens, eh? Chickens still can't be domesticated or anything. So unfortunately, they're just sitting around doing nothing. And uh, here's one of my attempts at finding clay. I did not find clay. I just dug deep as I could and could not find any. This was like my attempt at like a forward outpost. It's not even that far away from the base at this point, but it was in the early game. This was a forward outpost. I wanted to put beds in here so that people could maybe rest when they're going on a long journey. But uh, unfortunately, what they'll do is they'll pick beds out here because they're like the most recently constructed bed. Like people who are just living in town and not traveling and stuff. And then they'll walk way out of town to go to sleep. So it doesn't really work. Uh, the bench can sometimes still be handy though. There was another pit to find clay. It didn't really find much clay. Actually, that there might be clay. Unless that's sand. Oh, that's clay. So it's not as bad as it seems. But And then I built this big moat around town. Again, it was mostly to try to find clay. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, we can build moat around the town while we're at it. And uh, over that way, there was some clay, but I think over here, there was no clay. It was just dirt and rock. There's my orange orchard just outside of town. And here is the front entrance. I have completely walled in the town. The walls don't really work, though. Uh, they only work, well, it won't work on our camera. They work on the flat sides, but there's no way to, like, actually angle the walls from each other. They're always just built in straight 90-degree uh, angles. So if you want to do a partial angle like this, you just have to free place a wall and hope for the best. And uh, they can just, they can get through this. It doesn't, things don't have structure to them unless they're connected, basically. I believe this is a gooseberry farm. And then I have just random birch trees scattered around for decoration. Here's our beetroot farm. I have basically every food in the game growing in this town. Um... This was one of the later structures of the game. I wanted to build a two-story tall uh, four by four building, which is this one. This was just like a, a common room that people can eat food at. This All this food on the table here is manually placed because you can't, they don't just like put it there and leave it there. You gotta put it down as recreation. They have a view of the campfire from within the, in the building, nice and safe, which he is enjoying. Uh, the stairs are not inside on this building because they would waste space. They are on the outside. And then the out, the upstairs is a mass housing room. It takes a lot to build single houses. So uh, these bulk, bulk housing for people is the way to go right now. And then, yeah, this whole area here is just kind of like the town square for entertainment and relaxing. They have a bunch of, bunch of flutes, a bunch of logs. Just one of these things. It's kind of like a xylophone type thing. It's called like a buff buffalon or something. I can't even look at it. And then we have our flax farm here. Behind the house. And this is the other 
other road out of town like the one we came in on. And then this is all, this is probably, I think this is the newest structure in town because I made it out of a uh, full brick. So this one, this one is our uh, armory basically. It's got spears, axes, uh, what would you even call these? Axe stones? Axe heads. Because for some things, they actually need to use axe heads and not the hatchets. But it's annoying. They don't seem to prioritize the uh, the hatchets uh, for cutting down trees. They'll just grab whichever is closer, and sometimes it's those, which is a little annoying. But you have to have both, or they'll start not doing things. Then we have some bone knives. The spears are all bone. I tried to use stone for the tools, and then bone for the, the uh, knives and spears. Nothing on the upstairs, but I could house more people up there if I so desired. Hello, sir. It's Lucan. This this is our crafting building. It's a very tiny, but it doesn't need to be big. Or crafting stations. This is one of the oldest buildings in town. In fact, I think it is the oldest building in town because this used to be the general purpose storehouse, but I've rebuilt its floor and everything. Now this is the storehouse that stores all of our food. I've had an ass. And then we also have benches just kind of scattered around as long, and also torches scattered around so we can see things. This is our general purpose storehouse for things that can be stored outside. And there's quite a lot of stuff in here. And then across from that, we have the clay working area. So I got two clay furnaces, a couple of workstations here for making things with clay. And there's a bunch of clay blocks here, but not much else because I've used most of the clay that I have or uh, floors and stuff. This would be the second oldest building in town. It is the the first uh, housing structure, which has two floors. Lots of people in here. Around this way, we've got pumpkin farm. And then we have apple trees here, but they're all dead from fall or winter or whatever season it is right now. And then the other road out that way. This was just an experimental building I made. I just wanted to kind of see if I can make like personal houses for people. Probably get six people in here. Normally you can fit eight in here, I think, if you really wanted to, but their heads are already clipping through the wall. <laughs> but uh, make like a six person household in these, and this would be like the most, most efficient way to build single family homes. But still it's, there's so many parts that go into like these roofs and stuff that still doesn't really make sense to make the single housing units. Uh, this is our wheat farm, but it's all freshly harvested as well. These are our raspberry farm. These are store places for things to rot in because they are uncovered. Things will rot quickly out here. And some of the stuff in here or, or in the building here will rot and then they just need a place to dump it. Otherwise it stays together doesn't do anything when it's all together, but again, this is the, if you want to spend 20 hours in the game, this is the kind of stuff you got to do where you're doing things that like, you don't really have to build like this, like these kilns and stuff can all be outside and it wouldn't matter, but I did it anyway, because that's what you got to do. And then this is our bread making building where they process the flour into, what is it? Like it turns into flour eventually, but it turns cold wheat, cold wheat first, and then it turns into flour, and then it gets turned into bread at this fireplace. Cold wheat lasts for a really long time, though, so you really want to keep everything as hold hold wheat. Another general problem with the game: these corn stones break really quickly. It's like it's insane how fast these stones go bad. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. Sunflower farm, as far as I've seen, sunflowers don't do anything. Then this is my aspen tree farm, which was like my main source of wood for a very long time, which is why most of the things are made of this white wood. And then this is my attempt at a tower. It's the tallest building I've ever built. Um, towers are a little bit annoying to build, though. The problem is... I don't remember exactly. Let me think. Like a four by, I didn't want it to be a four by four building because the four by four buildings are gigantic. Like that's not really a tower. Towers are not wide, but you can't do a tower one by one either. 
because the staircase doesn't come in a smaller size than this, and this is a one-by-one -one tile that the staircase is on. So this building is one, or no, this is one two-by-two, two, and then this is a half wall, right? Yeah, two-by-two, two, and then basically it's a three-by-three three space instead of four-by-four. Four. But there's some parts that don't have two by two pieces. Now this might have just been like I ran out of resources. Let's see. I gotta, I gotta remember how to play. It's been a very long time since I actually played. I've been putting off making this video. Okay, so. Actually, they might have fixed it. They might have added a piece here. I can't recall. <laughs> there is a piece missing, and that's why this is like patchwork like this. Because there wasn't, there like wasn't. Maybe I did just run out of resources. I don't know. There was some kind of shortage of something. I thought it was the game's fault. Anyway, let's go up the tower. <laughs> this tower is also one of the first ones made with Willow. Like, we got the Aspen logs for the main logs, but then the uh, flat logs are Willow, which is why it's kind of green. And then this is the top floor of the watchtower, which lets everyone see way over the land. Once again, this is a building that does no functional purpose. It's just to waste time. And then another good example of uh, like pieces not lining up. There isn't like uh, one by one versions of the roof. So I only have one two by two piece up here and then everything else has to be flat. I couldn't really like put two by two side by side. They, didn't, they would not look right. So that's the best I could do. And then past here, you can see the moat continues around the base. It doesn't do anything either, by the way. Things can just come and go as they please, basically. Another little flax farm. I don't really use this one, though. It was just for fun because there's a lot of flax out here that I harvested. Got an alpaca out here. Then we've got our willow farm, which is our pride and joy because that took a lot of work to go get the willow seeds from way over there and bring them over here. So, yeah. This is the base from above. Actually pretty impressive. It's kind of kind of built out on like a flat hill out here. And then I haven't made the hill more dramatic by mining it out. Uh, we have all the food growing, like I said. Some of the buildings are built a little differently than others. I went through and like some of these buildings were patchwork. Like specifically, I remember the bakery building it was a patchwork of different types of logs for like the walls and stuff. And then I went through and I rebuilt the log walls so they're all one type. And then I made the roof all one type. I'm trying to make things a little bit more consistent. And yeah, we've been slowly transitioning to willow stuff. One thing that's kind of disappointing is that like it doesn't seem unless something's changed because the game has updated. We can select like specific branches for stuff. Flint axes. Flint axes are actually better than anything, but it's really hard to find flint. But you can set like a specific wood to build something with. I would prefer to build things with willow, but in this game, currently it doesn't make a difference. It'd be very nice if there was a difference, right? Like this willow was really hard to get. And I know in some video games, willow wood is considered like a really high level wood. It would be nice if the willow wood for being so difficult to grab was uh, like stronger than the other woods made better tools and longer lasting tools and so on and so forth and then yeah so that's about it like i said biggest problems with going into the late game in this game is uh clay is very hard to find like we really can only dig for it at this point because i've gathered like every drop of it like here's one way over here but it's all by itself there's a few over here but those are just rocks. Like anything even remotely near the base is gone. People have to like spend their entire day 
out of the base going to grab clay loose. And then there's no real way to tell where clay is otherwise. You just kind of got to dig and guess, which is a little disappointing. The uh, wall angles not being able to snap to each other and causing points where people can just walk in. Pretty annoying. Um, things just having a purpose would be nice. <laughs> like it was, like I've been saying, none of this was very necessary. We could have just lived with, honestly, just these for people to sleep under and it would not make a difference compared to what they're sleeping in right now. There's no morale bonus for these buildings being nice or anything. Um, all you really need is your food under a, a roof and then you're good. Like nothing else really needs to be under a roof. So this was all, all for naught. And the defensive structures are all for naught. It's not going to actually keep mammoths out. But I haven't had one try to get in since I built it, but still. It doesn't keep them out. And if they ever add like hostile NPCs to the game, it's not going to keep them out either unless they fix the... Uh, the attaching process. But yeah. It took a very long time to do this. Like it doesn't look like it's very much. But with the. As long as. As much parts as the buildings take. Because like each. Each one of these logs actually has to be split and stuff you know. In immense detail and all that. It takes a very. Very long time. To build something like this. Not to mention you also have to get people trained. In order to. Uh, know how to build things. And then the other problem is the game is just way too fast. The seasons pass way too quickly in this game. Like if we look, well, someone died like while I was waiting for night to kind of roll over. But uh, yeah, you'll see like 63, 62, 60. Like I just have like one person, like a couple people a year. So like in a year is like eight days. Maybe less. Let's see. Two days for each season. Eight days. Yeah. So you, every every year is eight days. It was day 69 when I started the game. Nice. Or when I started this, uh, started talking about this, this video. But as you can see, people are just going to basically be dying like every season. <laughs> and that's just kind of normal now. And it's just, uh, it's just way too high of a turnover rate when people have to like learn stuff. You have to go in your roles and you got to reassign the roles constantly. It's a little bit of a pain. It needs to be like banished, I think, where like I could just set a slider like I need 10 people to be felling trees or something. But instead I have to go in and like manually assign people. Don't want to put old people in tasks that take a long time or take a lot of work because they get tired. I think they also just walk a lot slower, which is highly annoying. Things like that, you really got to micromanage it. But at this, uh, once you're this far into the game, it can't really be micromanaged anymore. It really needs to have just a si slider that you set for number of people doing something. But that's all for this video. Just wanted to show you what it looks like if you do put like a ton of time into the game in its current state. Not really something I would recommend. I know the medicine updates going to come out soon which is going to be some more things to plant i'm sure i'm not sure how much more robust than that it'll be i'm sure you'll be able to like medicate people who get hurt from the mammoths but i've never had anyone die from being attacked by the mammoths they just get really injured and then they go into bed so maybe they're making the uh, damage system more detailed for that sort of thing also people just like don't have too much to do at this point in the game like it's so so easy for them to live at this point. They're just they're just all sitting around. <laughs> Unless I give them a bulk order to go do something. For the heck of it, then they'll go do it, but they're fine. Like this, there's nothing else to strive for here. There's there's nothing for them to do. So that's all. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.